Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In our previous video, we discussed about the various types of lead acid batteries that are present. So in this video, we decided to step it up a notch and compare two different battery types, lead acid and lithium ion batteries. We will be comparing these two batteries on the basis of the following parameters, capacity, weight, efficiency, cycle life, reusability, cost, and safety. Let's now start with our first parameter, capacity. A battery's capacity is the amount of charge that can be stored in it. While capacity can change between the models and manufacturers, lithium batteries have always had a higher capacity per unit volume than their lead acid counterparts. The next parameter is weight. For the same capacity, lithium ion batteries are known to be much lighter than their lead acid counterparts. A good example are the SLI batteries used in automobiles. SLI batteries have a capacity of 35 amp hour. Lead acid batteries of the same capacity would weigh at least 10 kgs more than its lithium ion counterpart. The efficiency of a battery also plays an important role in its usage. In a battery, efficiency is a ratio of the amount of charge entering the battery during the charging phase to the amount of charge leaving the battery during the discharge phase. But this value is actually dependent on the rate of discharge. If the battery is discharged at a much faster rate, the efficiency of the battery reduces. Lithium ion batteries tend to have very high efficiency of 92% against 60% efficiency of lead acid batteries for similar capacity and discharge condition. The next parameter for comparison is cycle life. Battery life is specified in terms of charge discharge cycle. One cycle consists of charging the battery to its full level and then discharging it to the minimum permissible lower limit. Lead acid batteries tend to have a life of around 300 cycles with a depth of discharge of 50%. This means by the time the battery undergoes 300 charge cycles, the capacity of the battery would be reduced to 50% of its original value. Lithium ion batteries have a much higher life cycle. The batteries that we normally use in our smartphones have a life of 1200 cycles with the depth of discharge being 80%. Lithium ion battery chemistries like lithium titanate developed by Toshiba tends to have life cycles higher than 40,000 at 80% depth of discharge. The next parameter is reusability. Battery reusability or recycling is the activity in which a non-functional battery or its materials are repurposed to be used again. Lead acid batteries have the highest value of reusability. Almost 90% of the battery materials is recycled and reused. The recycling infrastructures for these batteries is also well established. Majority of the lead acid batteries that are used in automobiles and home backup systems use recycled lead from old batteries. On the other hand, lithium ion batteries have very low reusability. The recycling infrastructure for lithium ion batteries is growing gradually with newer methods being developed every day. The next parameter is cost. This is one of the parameters in which the lead acid batteries outperforms the lithium ion batteries. Lead acid batteries cost less than half the price of lithium ion batteries for similar performance numbers. For comparison, a lead acid SLI battery costing 3000 rupees can cost as high as 20,000 when you choose a lithium ion chemistry. However, the price of the lithium ion batteries is reducing at an average of 15% per year as new metals and manufacturing methodologies are being introduced. Here is a graph that shows the reduction of lithium ion battery prices over the years. The price of the batteries have fallen from $1,200 per kilowatt hour to just $150 per kilowatt hour in 2019. The last and important topic is safety. Safety of a battery is normally considered by its thermal runaway property. Thermal runaway is a process in which an increase in temperature leads to a rapid release of energy that further adds temperature and in worst case scenario leads to an explosion. The thermal runaway of lithium ion batteries is the highest as it is very dependent on the charging conditions. Sometimes overcharging can lead to dendrite formation on the electrodes. Over time, these dendrites grow in size puncturing the separator and can cause a short circuit. Thermal runaway can occur in lead acid batteries also. It occurs most often when the rate of internal heat generation exceeds the rate at which the heat can be expelled. If this condition continues for an extended period, the battery temperatures tend to rise 
until the cells dry out and the container softens, breaks and melts. Since lithium ion batteries contains more energy per unit volume than lead acid batteries, the thermal runaway can be more violent. This can be avoided with an intelligent battery management system which monitors its voltage, current and temperature. Alright guys, I hope you found this video really useful. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. 